Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's taken so long, but I've been undated with loads of little jobs. So now I can carry on, finish these end plates and the forward ones here, get the holes drilled on a pit circle diameter. And then I'll be drilling and tapping the cylinder block, get that all finished. If I've got time, I've got a little uh, cylinder home, home thing for the drill, which will hone the cylinders. Right, so I've got this mounted in the vise here. I've got those little studs in there, which are on the centre line. So from the centre line, I've set the bottom of the milling cutter to the right height so now I'll be able to skim that and then just turn that over and skim that There's got to be a drilled and tapped hole there, but while I've got those studs in, instead of changing the chuck, I'll do that later. I'll just flip that over and do the other side. Right, that's both sides of the small one done. Nice. Now I'll do the large one. Right, so that's both sides there have done. What I do now is set these up in the milling machine, drill and tap each side. Right, so I've got this all set up to drill in the middle of that block there. So I've got a 6BA thread to go in there, so I'll just get this one done. Okay. But I'll just get my tap. Right, good job I checked on the drawing. That's a 4BA thread going in there. I'll just put the next the next uh, tap in. Right, that's that one side done. I'll just flip it over and do the other, and then do the large one as well. Right, that's both caps drilled and tapped in the base there. 
Next thing we've got to do is set them up, sort out the pitch circle diameter, and drill the fixing holes in each one. So I'll just sort that out. Right, I've got this centered on the mill machine and on the digital readout I've got a six hole pitch circle diameter to drill around there. The first one will be starting here. Right, that's the first hole. Next one. Just zeroing out the readout. That should go in there. Beautiful. Next one. Okay, that's the six centers done. I'll just put the right drill in. Right, that's the high pressure cover done. I'll just do the low pressure one. That's these end caps literally done. I'm happy with that. Nicely drilled look. Right, I've already made one of the uh, other end caps. This is one that's closest to the chimney. On the drawer and there's a tapped hole there i haven't tapped that yet what i did i'll show you i've got the high uh high pressure one set up in the lathe let's just move the camera a minute so using that center hole I have actually glued it onto a nice faced off bit of rod. So I turned that down to the diameter. And then I created the recess here. The, then what I did is I turned it round, held it in the chuck and faced off the back to the right thickness. So I'll just get that going.
Right, that's the outside diameter done. Right, that's that little step done. Now take it off of there. Just hold it in the vise, in the chuck, and do the back. Right, so all the end caps are nicely drilled. What I'm going to do now is drill those holes in the cylinder block. As you can see, I've stuck some tape on the cylinder block and I've used these two bits of angle clamped to keep these bases all in line. And I've just put a few little dobs of uh, super glue in there so then in a minute when that's gone off I'll be able to take the clamp off and drill through those holes right so all I'm going to do drill through the holes I think what I'll do first is I'll just set the depth you've got to remember here is steam holes so you don't want to go too deep on those first two holes closest to the top I've just set that. Set that to zero. Because we only got to go down a few mil. Well, that's the high pressure holes drilled, ready for tapping. Right, that's all the holes drilled on this side, ready for tapping. I'll knock those off, turn it over and do the other caps. And then I'll be able to tap all of those holes. That's all these holes drilled. What I'll do next on these plates is drill these holes out for a clearance hole so they'll slide onto the studs that go in to the tap holes in the cylinder block. So all the end plates are done, all the holes are drilled and tapped on the back there and on the front there. So the actual cylinder block is finished. I know uh, that's got to be fitted on and these two parts have got to be finished. But the aim of doing the cylinder block is so that I can now mark all these holes into the boiler and on the 
waist shaft bracket. I've marked the spectacle plates and also in there you can see the manifold that's got to be fitted so my next job now just zoom mate is to split all this down take these out so I can mark the holes for the manifold and then I can mark the holes for the waste shaft bracket the holes for here and then I've got some copper to make a ring spacer to go in there so then I'll be able to make a load of bushes and silver solder them into the boiler and then make everything into one so please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2-inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.